So I definitely agree that we live blissfully unaware of what goes on both globally and locally. And I think it's really a defense mechanism so that we don't have to look at the world for what it really is and so we don't have to take action. Now the topic that I chose to take a look at was gun control, in particular because of the school shooting that happened in Indiana just yesterday. Now according to CNN, we have had 23 school shootings so far in 2018. There's only been 21 weeks in 2018 so far, so that means that there's been at least one school shooting per week. Now, the fact that this keeps happening and that the most, arguably the most vulnerable population of our country is in constant threat and we're doing nothing about it is a really, really scary thought to think that we're one of the most well-off, you know, leaders of the global community and we can't even fix something that's going on in our own everyday lives is unimaginable. How can we stand to be leaders in other issues across the globe, whether it be war or global warming, when we're still dealing with so much at home? And when our leaders would rather turn a blind eye and keep living their blissful existence, being unaware of what's really going on, is really, really scary. I mean, we have political leaders who are sending thoughts and prayers and not taking action. For example, as shown by CNN, we have Vice President Mike Pence's tweet in regards to the Indiana middle school shooting, where he and his wife send thoughts and prayers and ensure that the people who are involved are in their hearts, but they don't make any move to change policy that could actually help these families and future families who could be affected by gun violence. So in particular, in the Indiana school shooting, um, nobody was killed, thank God. There was two people injured, a 13-year-old student, a girl, as well as the teacher who took down the shooter. Both were injured in critical condition, but are expected to recover. So this is Jason Seaman, the 29-year-old science teacher who tackled the shooter um, at Indiana, in the Indiana school shooting. He's been lauded a hero by just about everyone from Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, to President Trump. And he is said to be recovering very well currently and is in stable condition. In President Obama's State of the Union address, following his re-election in 2012, he stated that in the two months since Newtown, more than a thousand birthdays, graduations, and anniversaries have been stolen from our lives by the bullet of a gun. Now, he went on to say that the families and the loved ones of those who have lost somebody due to gun violence deserve to have their voices heard and deserve to have a vote on this issue. We still live in a society where, after an incident like a mass shooting occurs, everyone gets fired up and everyone gets upset and wants to make a difference, but then when it comes down to it, it's forgotten the next day, the next week, the next month and change doesn't happen. And as much as I'm an optimist, I think after seeing the events of the last year or so, and even how the gun control issue has progressed since President Obama's presidency, I don't know if I believe that it'll change anytime soon. And I think that's scary and sad, and I don't know how we can go on to make the rest of the world a better place until we solve this problem.